Take your set ladies and gentlemen. The movie time TV is about to start. The presentation element of essayist, Chief Charles Barker, the hit up comes from Makers Red and Dark Movies, the organization behind the very much respected, UK science fiction spine chiller The Machine, and recounts an ideal story of the wrongs of computer games and computer-generated reality. At the point when a gathering of world-class, internet gamers each get a strange greeting to preliminary, a cutting-edge, computer-generated simulation computer game, it's a blessing from heaven, and difficult to stand up to. Showing up at the test site, the gathering step into Howdy Tech Gear and plan for a progressive, powerful gaming experience that rejuvenates present-day fighting with startling authenticity. At first it's a one-of-a-kind and invigorating experience. Yet, which begins like a fantasy experience, with state-of-the-art innovation rapidly takes a turn for the vile as the gathering understand, that demise in the game equivalence passing in actuality. There's an excellent explanation this surprisingly realistic, computer game story is known as the call-up, other than the reality, this movie's cast of characters are considered up to play a new, untested, VR game, the activity inside is a whole lot, the EFT's extraordinary mission at hand assortment. Indeed, those of you out there, that play a long stretch of time of COD will undeabtedly get a rush out of seeing gamers playing a first individual shooter, no doubt. Albeit the possibility of truly kicking the bucket, likely will not be as engaging. Obviously there have been executioner PCS or potentially computer games in a wide range of media throughout the long term, nearly since the introduction of video gaming itself. And the idea of Phantom in the Machine is currently a very much worn figure of speech in sort film. This is how things have been story is even another one, the hit up center plot of a vivid executioner game is extraordinarily like 2006's Visit Alive. Anyway while that recorded, wandered further into the fantastical with the possibility of a possessed computer game, the hit up bases, its story more in the realm of VR, writing the rush of interest in the configuration that video gaming is as of now encountering thanks to any semblance of the Oculus Break and HEC's Vive. Sitting somewhere close to exemplary science fiction spine chiller 3D square and noisy and reckless activity flick gamer. The call-up is never entirely certain how far it ought to wander into genuine frightfulness region, there are minutes when the characters acknowledge what is befalling them and how the canty get away from their circumstance where chief essayist chief Charles Barker truly plays on the pressure and this present reality ghastliness of acknowledging you can bite the dust, without a doubt, by simply playing a game. At different times however Barker appears to need to express something about the condition of gaming, specifically bluster covering a forlorn console champion minus like presence. However while the two parts of this film, the frightfulness and the social discourse, take care of business they never fully gel into a firm entirety. Saying this doesn't imply that that the call-up is a terrible film. A long way from it. It's an exceptionally successful limited scope thrill ride that, even regardless of a totally unsatisfying finishing, the phantom in the machine is, at last, to a lesser extent an apparition and all the more a man, is definitely worth searching out when it's delivered across the UK in the not-so-distant future. One of the stand-apart non-mainstream sci-fis on late years was Caradog James Raindance Celebration Hit the Machine, and the imaginative brain has now taken on a creating job in another aggressive, over-its-means thrill ride, as the hit-up, helmed by first-time Chief Charles Barker. The subsequent creation is imperfect, absolutely, yet one that ought to be lauded, as a pointer regarding what can be accomplished on humble assets and a motivation to individual producers needing to handle the class film, despite the monetary restrictions. When a web-based gamer, Max Elder, gets up to find a card put by his bed, counting down time with a location imprinted on the back, he surges off the puzzling area to find what who is calling him. He shows up at the uninhibited, present-day building where an aggregate of bewildered gamers pause, likewise having gotten the mysterious card enticing them to this tricky setting. Shelley, Morid Clark, Marco, Tom Benedict Knight, Edward, Ollie Cook and Adam, Dougie McMeekin, are among them, where they are told to put on movement catch outfits and mechanically progressed protective caps which place them inside a computer game, in a stunningly vivid encounter. The PC-produced sergeant, Christopher Obi, turns up giving them guidelines, however what's genuine and what's not turns into a test to explore, especially with regards to the projectiles they are urged to fire. Barker gives this story, a negligible origin story, as we make a plunge solidly into the activity, with the initial shot that of our hero awakening to the signaling card on his bedside table. 
From subsequently the watcher, similar as the person, are tossed directly into the activity with little rhyme nor reason, making for a vivid encounter that is fitting of this specific story. Anyway while the feeling of uncertainty waits over procedures and illuminates the tone and air regarding this undertaking, it's as much a fix as it is a gift. For the absence of origin story makes an absence of concentration, and an absence of center makes an absence of venture from us, as a film that is progressively hard to sincerely interface with. Given the characters wind up in grave peril, that ends up being to some degree adverse to procedures. The image is shouting out for more assortment in the story as well, becoming predictable as we progress towards the last option stages. The initial demonstration is strikingly convincing, yet the idea needs more edge and variety as practically the whole presentation comprises of our primary characters, exploring their strategy for getting around this structure, adhering to the sergeant's directions. Viewpoints we once wondered about then become drawn out, as this element is really one extended scene. Regardless, Barker has contemplatively waited over the computer game versus reality thought, as so many eager gamers experience these dreams before their TV screen, so the way that they would admission, in actuality, battle makes for a fascinating idea. Anyway while he absolutely obscures the line between the two, his accurate goals and message he's presenting are challenging to get a handle on. In any case, this film stays more engaging than Adam Sandler's Pixels did, and made on an essentially more modest spending plan. At the point when a gathering of world-class web-based gamers each get a baffling greeting to preliminary, a cutting-edge computer-generated simulation computer game, it's a little glimpse of heaven and difficult to stand up to. Showing up at the test site, the gathering step into Hey Tech Gear and plan for a progressive, powerful gaming experience that rejuvenates current fighting with startling authenticity. At first it's an extraordinary and invigorating experience. Yet, which begins like a fantasy experience with state-of-the-art innovation rapidly takes a turn for the vile. A gathering of internet gamers are welcome to attempt a cutting-edge computer-generated simulation computer game however, things take an evil turn when these experts of the shoot them up find that they will really be battling for their lives. A gathering of internet gamers are welcome to attempt a cutting-edge computer-generated simulation computer game yet things take a vile turn when these experts of the shoot-them-up find that they will really be battling for their lives. A gathering of web-based gamers are welcome to attempt a cutting-edge computer-generated experience computer game yet things take an evil turn when these bosses of the shoot-them-up find that they will really be battling for their lives. At the point when a gathering of world-class web-based gamers each get a strange greeting to preliminary a cutting-edge, computer-generated experience computer game, it's a blessing from heaven, and difficult to stand up to. Showing up at the test site, the gathering step into Howdy Tech gear and plan for a progressive, powerful gaming experience that rejuvenates current fighting with startling authenticity. At first it's a one-of-a-kind and elating experience. Yet, which begins like a fantasy experience with state-of-the-art innovation rapidly takes a turn for the vile. When the gathering are gone after by faux warriors, they before long understand this is no game all things considered. Commit an error here, and you pay with your life. Presently, these bosses of the shoot-them-up should battle for endurance inside a game turned sour, yet this time it's seriously. At the point when a gathering of first-class web-based gamers each get a puzzling greeting to preliminary a cutting-edge, computer-generated simulation computer game, it's a blessing from heaven, and difficult to stand up to. Showing up at the test site, the gathering step into Hello Tech gear and plan for a progressive, powerful gaming experience that rejuvenates current fighting with startling authenticity. At first it's a special and invigorating experience. Yet, which begins like a fantasy experience with state-of-the-art innovation rapidly takes a turn for the vile. When the gathering are gone after by faux soldiers, they before long understand this is no game all things considered. Commit an error here, and you pay with your life. Presently, these bosses of the shoot-them-up should battle for endurance inside a game turned sour, yet this time it's no doubt.
Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment and share.